What is going on guys, this is Miasin, and today we just got a new Sky Striker Ace Link monster for the deck and I don't even want to spoil it but oh my god, this card even though it's a Sky Striker Ace monster it might be good in decks other than just Sky Striker. Anyways, we're going to be taking a look at it and also uh, try to review it in depth so that uh, we can tell whether or not it's going to change everything for the TCG and potentially the OCG as well because they have 3 Kigari and 2 Engage now. We have the same but only 1 Engage and we also only have 1 multi roll. Anyways, it's a Link 2 Machine Link monster. The materials are super generic, only two effect monsters. You can literally break in Sky Striker and still get your engine now, which is fantastic. And another thing is that this, I want to say, is potentially easier to summon than Azalea. Depends on the situation because that one requires a light or a dark monster. So if you can only really use like earth or fire, water, whatever monsters, you can still summon this card. Anyways, must first be Link Summon. So if it's summoned properly, then you can start reviving back uh, from the grave. You can only special summon Sky Striker Ace Camellia's once per turn. It actually reads special summon, not just link summon, so definitely be really careful for that. Once per turn, if you have three or less spells in your grave, you can send one Sky Striker card from your deck to the grave. This is literally Hayate, but without relying on a battle phase. Extremely overpowered, honestly, I don't even know where to begin, but the fact that you can now start accessing engage before your end phase if you're the player going first is remarkable. And another thing that I really like is that let's just say you have like zero spell cards, only you have a bunch of monsters your monsters can actually lead to having two spells in your grave. So you can also turn like Hornet into everything that you want because Again, you're going to be able to Foolish the Hayate as well as the Engage, uh, whereas before, we only had a Hayate to send, like, one of them. So, if you wanted stability, you sent Ray, um, uh, Ray. and then if you wanted, like, uh, Engage for Juice, then you send that, but you always had to, like, pick your poison, and it wasn't really too great, but now you can pretty much get everything you want, so this is already really insane. And again, it's a generic Link 2 monster. So you can randomly play this in whatever deck you want, and then link two monsters, send, engage, and then turn it into Kigari, because it's again a Sky Striker Ace Link monster, recycle back the engage and start drawing cards or searching Widow Anchors. It's incredibly good. It might maybe be the next uh, Vrite Anaconda, we never know. Anyway, second effect, if this card is sent to the graveyard, that's it. You can target one monster your opponent controls, special summon this card to their field, and if you do, send that monster to the grave. Also, shift control to that card's owner during the end phase of this turn. This is a very complex effect because it has two conjunction words. So we have the and if you do, which means that B can only happen if A happens. So you can only send the monster to the graveyard that your opponent controls if you can actually special summon this card to your opponent's field. The other conjunction word is also, which means that this is independent completely of whatever else happened before. So the shifting control doesn't necessarily have to... I mean, it happens even if this doesn't happen or something like that the other way around, I forgot, but yeah, it's like less important. But basically, you cannot use the second effect of this card if you actually summoned it uh, that very same turn, because you can only special summon Sky Striker Ace Camellia once per turn. So if you summon it on your own turn, and then you link it off, for example, you can't use the graveyard effect, because that would be the second summon. Obviously, you can't do that. But if you can actually use this effect on your opponent's turn, which is definitely doable, you can actually interrupt your opponent, and against Kashtira, you can cuck them completely by giving them, them a monster that they really don't want, and I really like that. So, let's just say you have this, as well as Linkage. You can actually send this card to the graveyard on your opponent's turn with the Linkage. So, that could be, like, an extra interruption on top of, like, Widow Anchors and Shark Cannons and stuff like that, that you might already have. The, the one issue is that you are not going to be able to send, uh, sorry, end on Shizuku, but rather on this instead. This effect is just already incredible. Oh my god. It could have, like, not had this effect and it still would have been insane. And, of course, if you already summoned that card before, you can turn it into Kigari and then go Chainlink 1, Kigari, Recycle Back, and then Chainlink 2, uh, send a monster upon controls, give this card to your opponent, and then, you know, chain block the Kigari completely. But again, it's uh, really tricky to do that uh, very early on. You're, of course, gonna have to wait a little bit before you can start abusing the full potential of this card. As I keep saying, the most insane thing about this card is the fact that it's one generic, it only requires two effect monsters, which is good for Sky Striker, but also for other decks. Of course, the last time Sky Striker was abused as an engine was in Sky Striker Orchest. It was even better than like any other version of Sky Striker in the history. I guess Sky Striker Guki was also really good. Uh, people were playing like triple engage, triple hornet. It was just a free warrior extender. And you could also draw a card sometimes if you went like Isolde, send a bunch of uh, equip spells. But but yeah, like this is on a whole other level. If you really want to, you know, start drawing cards, 
being able to splash like maybe one engage, a few Widow Anchors, pretty much acts like a Forbidden Chalice, just naturally in any other deck that you want, this engine could definitely make sense for you. So yeah, I'm definitely a big fan. I think this has a lot of uh, potential and again, great for everyone. So yeah, I'm uh, really looking forward to this new card. But what do you guys think about Sky Striker Ace Camellia? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.